This is a video, man, that I have pretty much geared towards the, the women who might be watching my video videos. I just want to offer a word of advice to women out there everywhere, man. Do not listen to third parties about who you choose to date. You know? And when I say that, man, I mean a third party can be your damn girlfriends. It can be, your, it, it, can be it can be close relatives. Whatever, man. You should never listen to a third party over some bullshit. And when I say that is... Let's say you see a guy, right? You think he's cute. You ain't giving him the time of day. Don't ask your friend what the hell they think about him. You know, don't ask, don't ask them, do you think he's cute? Because if they say no, you're going to sit back and, and it's to take, take their side and it, should never get, and it should never gets made. You know, and the reason why that concerns me is because every chick that there was a, a, mutual, a mutual attraction for always had a damn friend who didn't like my ass, man. And what happens is, is that chick will ask their friend what they think. And then they would get a negative response, and all of a sudden the, the chick is turned off. You know, just because your friend doesn't like who you who you might who you might think who you might be attracted to or like, don't mean that your at the person that you like is shit. You know, and I find I think that a lot of women out there, man, they pass on a lot of good guys, man, over some bullshit. You know, I think, man, if if women would think for themselves. You know, if they if they just thought for, for themselves about who they actually like, man, and not give a damn about what people thought, they all have have good guys, man. You know, but I find that it's rare to find a female who would like to do anyway, in spite of what she thinks about him. And like I said, man, that's that's been that's helped me a lot, man, a lot. And I find that a lot of women don't trust their own judgment, man. You know. The only time a chick should listen to what their friends think is if that man has a bad reputation. If he's if he's harmful to you, if you think he might hurt you. And that's the only time that you should listen to them, man. But about how he listen about how he listens shit, that shit shouldn't make a difference, man. You you should not care about what anybody else thinks about who you with. Period. You know. If if you look at most men, how many men do you know care about what other men think about who they like? Shit, I mean I don't know any man who gives a damn about what their friends think, man. I'm telling you. I don't, if a man if a man finds a chick attractive, man, he don't give a damn about what his friends think. The only time a man will listen to his friends is if that chick is a hoe or some other bullshit. Otherwise, man, you ain't gonna sway too many men's judgment about who they like. But females can be in love with a fucking dude, then and then have and then and, and, and they hear one negative thing about him, and all of a sudden they don't like him anymore. All of a sudden he's a scrub. And the, and the problem is, is that. Y'all make these choices without even giving the man a chance, man. The connection never gets made. You know, y'all need to sit back and really think about that, man. More women need to start thinking for themselves about who they like, man. This when it comes to like different types of black men. You know, it's like, it's like I find that a lot of black women, or women in general, would date a, a damn no good nigga, man, without even any, without, without any type of confirmation whatsoever, man. But when it comes to a decent black man. And he always always been reassurance and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Why is that, man? Why is why you know why he must uh, insecure about dating a, a decent black guy, but they have no insecurity whatsoever about dating some some fucking them losing nigga, man. You know, and then they wonder why they're in the same position they are in all the time. You wonder why you keep getting dogged out by these cats, man. You know, quit dating men to please your friends. Quit dating men to please people. Um. That we don't give a damn about you, man. All your happiness, man. Date some man for yourself, man. And most important, open your eyes to other different types of black guys. You know, not the same old niggas all the time, man. And like I said, man, this message is for the women who 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 might be watching my videos. You know, take this take this message man, and think and actually think on this shit, man. Because we need more women who think for themselves, man. You know, not ones with this damn hurt mentality that's killing us, man. Because, like I said, there are different types of black men out there, man. And niggas are getting sick and tired of, of having to act one damn way, man. Or if it's to even look that way. You know? That's all I got to say about that.